museum it's there's there's a collection of uh, what is left of the ancient town here in Sofia so instead of actually just walking around underpass it's sort of an educational tour as well This underground metro rail tunnel and open museum are covered by 800 meter glass domes with three prominent domes that can sustain 250 kilograms. From below, you could see the towering facade of the city's main government office. And from the outside, the protruding domes are surrounded by more government offices. Hello? Just before it was opened in 2016, many were calling for a halt of its restoration because the locals then felt that the restorers are changing the actual ruins but the issue was settled and it opened in 2016. The area is known as the Sofia Largo. few meters below the modern streets, so the ancient town actually has its own bathrooms, uh, community houses. This, I guess, used to be a large city, but most of the ruins are actually buried under the ground. So some parts of it are actually exposed for tourists to see without paying any fees. <laughs> Change, no change. No change. No seven, five level. Okay. Five level, five ten level. Which one? I love you, I love you, energy. Mm -hmm. No seven, five, five, ten, okay? Ah, okay. Um, okay. Okay. How do you say thank you in Bulgarian? Blagudaria. Blagoda. Blag Blago Blago Daria. Blago Daria. Uh, uh, ciao, bye bye. Uh, do vizdane. Do vizdane. Do vizdane. Do vizdane. Do vizdane. Thank you. Thank you, Blago Daria. Blago Daria. Bye bye. Do vizdane. Do vizdane. Television? No. Uh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Bulgaria is actually located in the southeastern part of um, Europe. It's actually part of the European Union and it used to be under the communism rule for more than four decades. And in 1989, after the Berlin Wall, the country actually transitioned to a democratic republic. These intricately crafted old structures are collectively known as the Monastery of St. Ivan of Ryla. The ornately painted church is called the Nativity of the Virgin Mother. <laughs> 